Hey folks, today I've got a Google Password Manager review to determine whether it's safe and worth using. I've tested plenty of password managers, but this was my first real crack at the Google Password Manager. That said, I have to start with this one compatibility because naturally it's only available on Chrome, desktop, and Android devices. So if you don't like the Chrome browser, you will need to look for a different provider. But don't worry, later in the video, I'll present a few great alternatives. But can you trust Google Password Manager? Well, it offers end-to-end -end encryption. However, there's a disturbing lack of transparency. It doesn't even say what kind of encryption it uses. All we know is that it does. But the thing that I dislike the most is that Google collects users' information. Sure, it's a well-known fact, but that doesn't make it okay. Google does have a two-factor authentication system, but only for verifying your identity. It's not part of the password manager itself, meaning it's not supported for individual account information stored in its manager. So overall, the security is the bare minimum and could use lots of improvements. I can say the exact same thing about the features. There are only a few starting with autofill, which is enabled by default. To be fair, it works rather smoothly. It also has a password checkup, but for me, it didn't identify as many compromised passwords as some other managers. And of course, it also has a password generator, which is very simplistic, but gets the job done. And that's it for features. Overall, it's a very simplistic password manager that barely covers the basics. The only true upside it has is that it's completely free and that it's already there on the Chrome browser. To be honest, I can only recommend it to complete beginners until you decide on what password manager you wanna get. We saw what Google lacks or does poorly. Now let me show you how a good password manager helps you. First, let's compare NordPass versus Google Password Manager. NordPass utilizes modern XCHACHA20 encryption. To guarantee privacy, NordPass employs a zero-knowledge architecture that has passed an independent audit. So yeah, much more transparency and a higher level of security than Google Password Manager. Now looking at NordPass features. NordPass covers all the essentials, like a password generator. NordPass also has secure file sharing, which lets me share sensitive information like credit card details or even photos and videos. From my experience, NordPass's autofill was really smooth. I didn't encounter any issues and I was able to save new autofill information rather quickly. There are also features like Password Health Checker, which helps you to avoid vulnerable passwords. It was able to find way more problems with passwords than Google Password Manager 2024 did. There is much more, but it would take way longer to even mention everything it has. So naturally, there comes a question. Is NordPass affordable? Well, it depends on the plan you choose. NordPass offers family, premium, and free plans. The free version provides essential features like password and secure note storage and generation, so it can serve as a great introductory password manager. But for long-term solutions, I still recommend getting the premium plan. It features every functionality, including the data breach scanner, emergency access, secure item sharing, and a password health checker. The family plan increases the account limit to six on top of that. If you want it all at a discounted price, scan this QR code or click on a link in the description. In case you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. All right, besides NordPass, I've got two more recommendations that are superior to the Google Password Manager. It's Keeper, which has plenty of additional features and 1Password, which has the best family plan, while Google doesn't have one at all. Besides, both of them meet all the core requirements to make a safer and more transparent password manager. This, of course, includes end-to-end -end encryption. In fact, Keeper and 1Password use the same industry standard encryption. Moreover, Keeper and 1Password have zero-knowledge architectures. If we look at features, Keeper and 1Password cover all the basics. When it comes to password sharing, both have something extra to offer. Keeper has a one-time sharing tool, which gives me time-limited secure sharing of information with anyone as they don't need to have a Keeper account. While 1Password offers vault sharing if you have a family plan. Keeper has a list of features as add-ons. My favorite out of those has to be Keeper Chat, a secure messaging solution that allows me to chat with friends, family, and colleagues knowing that I am completely secure and in control of the content I share. To be fair, I can understand paying extra for Keeper Chat or file storage, but features like Breach Watch usually come at no extra cost in most other password managers. For example, NordPass has dark web monitoring, 
and 1Password has Watchtower, which come at no additional cost. I've already mentioned vault sharing with 1Password, but there's more functionality to it. In fact, 1Password has more vault customization than any other best password manager. One of the options is the travel mode. It allows me to select which vaults are travel safe. If I ditch the country for a couple days, the vaults that are marked as not travel safe will get locked until I get back. So whether you compare Google Password Manager versus Keeper or 1Password versus Google Password Manager, it's clear why Google comes up short. But how much are these extra features and security gonna cost to you? 1Password doesn't have a completely free option, but it does have a 14-day free trial. In addition, it has the cheapest personal and family plans out of the three recommended premium providers. However, Keeper has a longer free trial and more features in its premium plan. But which Whichever plan and provider you choose, I've got a discount for you in the description. All right, let's wrap this one up. So is Google Password Manager good? Yes, Google Password Manager is free and is still better than nothing. So if all you need to do is generate strong passwords and store them in a browser, then it will be okay. But for anyone who values their security and privacy on the internet, any of the three premium options I've reviewed would be a huge improvement. So I'll just leave my top recommendation, NordPass and a discount on screen. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth video about my best password managers, check this video out that's on screen right now as well. Thanks for watching this Google Password Manager review to the end, and I hope to see you again soon.